Yeah, LA Leakers, just incredible DJ Sour Milk. That's right. Part two. Wow. I just want to know if he did he beat this nigga's ass and then go drop a freestyle. That's what I said. He always keeps the bars ready. You know what I'm saying? The baby. You see what it is, baby. Let's go get it, my brother. Off the top, don't believe the hype, nigga. It's baby, I'm pushing P. Mm. Double off in my outside, drop the window with the light just to let them hoes look at me. Yeah, I won't keep it, I'd rather be free with her. Give it back to the streets, keep it G with her. Might fuck with me for three years. Only three times will I sit down in public and eat with her. Must have forgot who he is. I've been fucking niggas hoes since 15. It's a surprise, only got me three kids. Look in his eyes, you can tell that he real. Look on the net, you might think that he fake. Look at the plastic stats and where I came from. Ain't no way you can say he ain't great. Type to wake up today and go sell my estate. Nigga, I don't want it no more. I don't want the whip either. Trying to make me mad about uh-huh. the hoe. Nigga, don't know what's going on. I don't want the bitch either. I drop off with you, King. Nigga, I ain't new to this shit. I've been true to this shit. 745 yellow beam. Pull up with the cutest little bitch. I don't open her doors. I just fuck her all night and I leave her. Yeah. yeah. He pushed the peak as he paid for it. I get that pussy for free. I'm on welfare. I mm. fell in love with her. She was my trap girl. I used to make the mailman press the doorbell. She mm. get that good yeah, head. If she got long hair, I got no hair. Fuck niggas hating, but oh well. I'm the type of rap nigga, kill a rap nigga. Now I still walking and do my little show there, nigga. I push a P. I'm the realest one in it. She fuck with me. That boy still in his feelings. I'm in Atlanta. Buying designer. Fuck around me and I shoot you in Linux. I'm in New York where I can't have a gun. I'ma just fly in New Jersey with it. I'm back in Cali and I never run. Play, you gon' go play with Tupac and Biggie Yeah, I got three daughters, but I need a son You solid enough, okay, baby, come get me Lay back and push out that P, he gon' be born a player I never let niggas play with me, it's baby, nigga Huh? Okay, yeah, he gone. and I'm pushing P, nigga Let me get some of the water <laughs> I've listened to this ass so many 50 times He murdered wait, wait, this wait, wait, shit wait, wait, This is like energy for me This is like Like I said, I think he was still wildin' with that Jay-Z and Nas Watch this, hold Hold up, watch this. No, Ready? Oh man, nigga, this shit too easy. Fucking that hoe in my Yeezys. Won't take them off. Soon as I'm done, I'm leaving. She begging me for the state. I'm having business to handle. Can't waste time creeping. She got to thinking I'm bait. I guess it's my fault. My feelings change with the seasons. I cup hoes when it's cold outside. Then I get going when it's hoes outside. Pull up on them niggas in the oh my God. Pull up on them niggas in the cold ass ride. I used to serve niggas pound every day in a bitch bowl rental with an old boat five. I ain't even have to scale no more. What? Have a motion nigga what? No my line. Me and you are not the same. You and Mr. Me the nigga. I get mad and say hit on me and nigga. I flash out. Pull that stick out, uh, never go back by the piss, that ain't part of my pimpin', that ain't how I get down, yeah. yeah. I stop a grown ass man in front of all of his niggas, let's see who the bitch now. All out the window, yeah, nigga, I'm it. I know we supposed to be mad at the baby, and that nigga canceled, but that nigga lit. And these niggas hoes, I came from the bottom, I didn't have shit. Wasn't he supposed to see this? She got the staring as soon as I hop out the car, I didn't even have on the fit. Came back with the fade on them hoes, uh, yeah, looking just like money mix, uh, nigga, this shit too easy. That's a FN on my hip, no beeper. I don't trust none of these hoes, no, no sir. sir. I ain't claiming none of these hoes, not, not even. even. Niggas talking about baby on the blogs, nigga, so what? Do something, I'm Plea, and I ain't had to show me a nigga what's happening in a while. Trigger finger motherfucker squeezing. Scratching it, now that bitch itching. I'm back in this bitch myself with that on. Anyone you niggas fuck with me wrong on my people, it's gonna be a killer. I got on my motherfucking grind when the money slow down, niggas got in their feelings. Fuck on the slow and I don't even kiss her. I'm, I'm a, a dog, dog ass, ass nigga, nigga. Oh my god, we got a round of applause for that. That nigga murdered that shit. Oh my goodness. I, 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 I fuck with y'all little podcast. No adjustments. Hey, just another podcast, episode 93. Hi. Oh my goodness! Hey guys, this is me. Lydia is here. Lydia. Do you do you do you have a special like pod name you want to give the people or? Don't say Beyonce. Don't say Beyonce. <laughs> Don't say Beyonce. Okay, so <laughs> no one is going to Just address Indy. you that way. Indy is Just here. Indy. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> B Hood is behind the camera. Appreciate you, my brother. You already know. And I'm your host, No Substance Dean. Mister, if you know, you know, Dean the Great. Ninety three. We're almost at a hundred. I know that's so exciting. We that shit's crazy. Um, let's start with the baby. Do we want to start with the freestyle? Is that your first time hearing it? Um, it's my first time hearing it all the way mm. through. To that's the more baby. for the fellas. I geeked out. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. That was the first thing I heard Friday morning. Mm. So I was that's a good way. Trillion. Trillion. Yeah, I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Then I seen he beat a nigga up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my the god! Energy. I know. And, then and then posted a picture smiling. Then I seen uh, Kanye drop the track with uh, Fivey, so I was like, out of here. I was like, yeah. It's oh. a good Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Hopped on the jet, came home. Ah, oh, I've been on a trillion. So, freestyle critique. That shit's hard. Nah, That's nah. Good. Nothing else That's to say about critique. that. Yeah. And I listen to a lot of freestyles. I yes. definitely body that. Shit. Now Hood said because at the end he was like, you know, he did bar him up a little bit. It's some bars in there. Mm-hmm. He was saying, um, you got to mention me with the Coles and the Kendricks and the Hoves and the Nazis. Y'all think he's wilding? Yeah. He's wilding. 
Well, they're younger than us, bro. So I want to hear what the youngins think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's good at what he does, but he really just he kind of has like one thing. He does have like one, one flow, flow in one pocket, but that nigga is mastering that shit. I'm a fan yeah. of somebody mastering their craft. Yeah. Right, right. And the breath control you gotta have to to, to spit that. that freestyle oh, yeah. is, you know, I gotta uh, respect that. Yeah, you, you before we move on, I don't even want to fuck up. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Yeah. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. I'm not yeah. fucking with y'all no more. Hit subscribe. Please. God damn it. Okay, please. Oh please. man. <laughs> uh, so was that before or after he punched this nigga in the face? <laughs> I'm going to. S- I would like to think that was after. I, if that I, was after. I, I, it goes up yeah, ten yeah, more yeah, points. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah, beat yeah. a nigga ass and then you went on, yeah, and yeah, dropped yeah. a freestyle, I would like to think so. And when I watch it, I feel like the energy is like I just dropped it. Right, that's what I'm saying. That, how he came in, that yeah, gave off know. real like I just dropped a nigga energy. Yeah. And it was bars and then like yo yeah she was with me for three years but only three times you see me out with her eating. Oh, yeah. It's like oh this nigga spicy yeah. today. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Okay, baby. God damn. I mean the baby. My fault. Y'all niggas. I'm like yo. What you said? Yeah. Oh no no. You meant all that shit. He said, on oh, my big bro, it's going to be a killing. That's the shit I be on. I be trying to tell y'all. <laughs> See, when he said it, it's cool. When I say it, y'all be like, oh, Kareem, you would kill somebody? Yeah, nigga. I... <laughs> He's so ready to drop somebody. He really is. A clean kill, though. Right. Yeah. Watch out for this man. A warranted kill. Don't look at him the wrong way. He's going to be like, I thought they were going to rob me, so I clapped him. Please don't say clap. No, no. Clap them. I thought we learned from last episode. I had to clap them. I'm going to stay for the rest of my life. Please stop. But no, I mean. clap me. So, okay, okay. Let's go straight to the Bowling Alley incident. So, it's a it's Super Bowl weekend. Okay. Everybody and their mama's in L.A. Except us, obviously. We brokies. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll be there in March. No, I'm saying for Super Bowl weekend. Facts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're brokies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to act like I got that. I ain't got it. I'm not spending it. <laughs> and I don't believe in being in it like when people go to like All-Star Weekend, but they not going to the game and they just in All-Star Weekend to do the outside festivities. Yeah. I don't really. That's not my thing. Or niggas go to CIAA just to go party. That's not my thing. But So everybody and their mom is in L.A. I think Chris Brown was at the bowling alley. Like everybody and their mom was at the bowling alley. Mm-hmm. Not bowling. None of these niggas look like they were ready to bowl. Right. Nobody had shoes or no, nothing. nothing. <laughs> All bullshit. Just chilling. So the story I have heard is that... Uh, Danny Lay's brother, what's his name? Brandon Bills or something like that? Something like that. Mm-hmm. Is he an artist? No, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he does. Okay, well, Brandon Bills walks up. He first of all, you're by yourself. That's a fire last name. Anyway, that's probably not his real I think last that's probably name. Probably just like a stage, stage name. name. Okay. Yeah. God, see? I've never heard of this human being. You say Brandon Bills, it sounds like a real name. Anyway, um <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so he made a threat. To the baby a long time ago. Right. Oh, he man. said it's on site. That's not that's smart. I don't think young niggas really know what on site no, means. They don't. I think like that's something my generation started and we were about on site. Like one time a nigga <laughs> broke into my car and stole my stereo and I never seen him. And I told niggas mm-hmm. that knew him, like if I see him, it's on site. So when I bump into you at 7 Eleven, there's no words to be yeah, spoken yeah, about. Right, right, right. Don't say anything. It's on site. Just gonna Ain't no if I see you, if you see me, it doesn't <laughs> matter, nigga. It's on site. You right. better hope you see me when I see you. Right, but that's I'm from a different era, so may and I the baby's about my age, mm-hmm. so he's like, oh, this nigga said it was on site. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm swinging first, yeah, and he did. Yeah, he definitely did. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> and at first, through. I thought I only seen them slipping and sliding on the lanes, yeah. So I didn't see the I don't I just Initial. seen it this morning. I was like, oh, this nigga dropped a nigga and then went and did a freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> this is legendary. Yeah, yeah, fact. Cause all the other stuff, I ain't gonna hold you. I be thinking it's like kind of food. Like you broken, you got into a fight at Louis Vuitton. And right. you beat the shit out of a nigga in the mall at Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. Seems a little fugazi for me, but this is like <laughs> live and in action. Yeah. So they say Brandon approached him like he wanted to talk to him like a man. Mm. But now I'm from, you say it's on site. Yeah, you've already said it's on site, sir. You set the standard. That's what yeah. you said. Yeah. yeah. And it's out there for the internet to see, so we all know you said Yeah, it. right. <laughs> when, when shit is on the internet, you really got to follow through. That's you like, have go to follow through. You got to see it through, my boy. got to see it through. And, and his and, niggas follow through, nigga. Bro, and, and uh, so, so um, me and Caitlin were talking about, she's like, that's weak. They jumped him, whoop de whoop And I was like, bro, he came alone. I would think he was armed and dangerous. Yeah. I would be on full tilt. You made a threat on me. You could have been calling me and we could have talked about it like men. Right. But you got to the internet. 
Right. Young yeah. boy, internet, and, and the it's baby on is site. not a regular a, nigga. It's multiple you examples just, of his character. Facts. Like he's facts. about it. Like, facts, facts, facts. He's not you know, a this, regular dude. I, I heard the Walmart stories and the you know niggas came to his crib stories, and I salute that because that's the same shit I'm on. Don't come to my house unless you brought your shit with you. Mm-hmm. You're going down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But to see this, I mean, it was a great punch. It was. Yeah. I was like, oh I shit. See that it. was full oh, content. Oh my like, God. Let me see if I saved it on my phone. I might put it up there for you. the YouTube? Um, no, I saved it on, on IG. You know uh, the ratchets at uh, Shade Room post everything? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do I have no, this punch? Wait, wait, wait. I wait. just want to see it. Oh, oh yeah, here yeah, it is. Right. No, I got you. I got you. Oh, my God. Wait, <laughs> these, ni- these niggas are where the balls dispense, and he hit this nigga so hard, he went to the lane. Yeah. That nigga was both <laughs> this nigga. And his friend, yo, his entourage did what they supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, now, they When you're up. watching this, they follow through. They got to know the lanes are slippery. You got to get your feet in the gutters. Yeah, Grab this yeah. nigga by his hair and just start wham, bam, bam. He's supposed to go in. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I might put <laughs> some boxes up so y'all can watch records. it. Yeah, slip and slide yeah. records. Yeah. Um, That's a treacherous place to fight. A lot of niggas get in the <laughs> You might roll your ankle. But not on the lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never seen niggas fighting <laughs> right, on the lanes. That's, that's, that's true. That's, that's crazy. It didn't start on the lanes. Right, yeah, right. that's right. That How you come to me with that energy you put out into the universe and not expect me to steal off on you? Now I was now if I'm the baby, I'm not swinging first. He might be able to pull off the um, self defense because you made a threat on me. Right. But I'm the bad. It no, My it niggas got to yeah. take care of you. Actually, I'm yeah. going to get some popcorn to be back and watch <laughs> your dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? No, for real. I'm going to go to concessions yeah, yeah. and go. You know what I mean? Get a little popcorn, come back and see what they do to you. Right. I'm like, I didn't even. I was over there at the concessions. I, I don't know. Why. I was unaware. He did threaten me. They were on high alert. Right. <laughs> And then he went and dropped a fire freestyle. I want, I want to believe in my mind Thank that you. it went that in that in order. that order. Right, right. Because that nigga was like, I, I believed you at first. I don't, I don't believe you, nigga. That nigga was like, it, it gonna be a killing, not a homicide, not a murder. It's gonna be a <laughs> killing <laughs> on my brother, nigga. That was a serious, not spicy. For me to just have seen that yeah. that video, he knocked him back like. At least six feet. And then he fell down forward on his knees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because he was on the lane. Yeah. Right. So now you don't got no traction. You were falling right. back. Now you slip forward. <laughs> now you got braids, nigga. Right. Niggas grabbing you by your what braids. Braid? They tossed oh. you around. Oh, see? Y'all don't yeah, know. that nigga like, the worst way. No, he got on a hoodie. Hoodies are not good yeah. to get in fights in. No. no. Nothing that somebody can grab you and, and can't help control your leverage. Jeez. I haven't gotten a fight in a long time. Anyway, I'm telling you, he was like, I ain't had to show a nigga what's happening in a while. <laughs> this nigga's serious as fuck, bro. Yeah. So it might have been before, I don't know. But you know, that that verse was already ready and prepared. But that's You know, you all the it. internet niggas was on there talking like, well, you know, he was by himself. It's not fair. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, my God. Matter. You made the threat, nigga. Exactly. Right. Bring your people with you. Right, right. You, it's you it's Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, Everybody yeah. named Mama's in L.A. Yeah, mm-hmm. facts. And stay safe out there, cause a niggas is still getting robbed. Yeah. Just cause it's a Super Bowl, that's yeah. like it's robbing season. Right. right. <laughs> and uh, B, I mean, I seen uh, like we was talking about uh, shooting with um, Kodak. Kodak. Yeah. And the Justin Bieber thing, like I seen four people were critical off of that. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't fuck with like large group gatherings. Nah, man. But. Yeah. And okay, so how, this let's spin off that. Fuck that. Danny Lay and the baby, they have a daughter together. Mm-hmm. Correct. Do y'all feel like you should have smoke with family members? Like, that's still going to be the uncle of your child. You done pieced him up. It's on the internet. That's crazy. Hilarious. I mean, I mean, nigga, you got to handle your business. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like the bad <laughs> blood was also present before they had a child together. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. yeah. So it's not just going to change Maybe my mind. Like one time, one time. <laughs> I'll beat your ass one time. I'll see you at the cookout. I have, op- I have an open threat on me from via a family member of somebody else, hmm. and I handled it the same. I'm, I mean, I haven't handled it, but I feel it like the same way. Like if somebody's like, "When my son get out, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z to you," I'm like, "Okay, remember you said that," because I'm never I'll gonna forget him. you said that. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Now you're on high alert with a nigga that's ready to catch one, and you just got a jail. Come on, man. Right. Don't be that one. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. I got to stop talking about that. You really do. He, y'all can tell how ready. But yeah, nah, family or not, though, man, you gotta handle that business, though. Right. I just, I remember one time we was in an apartment and something had fell, and I rolled out the bed, and she was like, "Oh shit, I didn't even never seen no shit like that was some movie <laughs> shit." How he rolled out the bed and was like, "Boom," and ready to go, laser beam down the hall. <laughs> what? <laughs> a fucking. It's a it's a, a green light on water here. Water bottle hit the ground. No, not a water bottle, the but there was a there was a <laughs> hop out the bed. <laughs> Checking the corners, what? And shit. <laughs> like that, nigga. Corners and shit. 
It's clearing the court. That's how I look at laser tag. Whatever. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, nah, but I was, I'm just ready. I'm just, you never know, man. And so. I know you did some sort of stupid ass backflip. Like a roll out the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you did a Rolled out the bed, right. was down like. <laughs> was down in the corner. <laughs> you got to hey. chill out. <laughs> Do you? not come to my house on no bullshit. I'm just trying to tell I'm you. I'm afraid man. to visit unannounced. <laughs> Don't. No, <laughs> well, be I'm announced. At the door, like, no, be and announced. get clapped. Be announced. <laughs> I got some with the little five, five, sixes in the back. You don't want these problems, man. I'm trying to yeah, tell five, you. Five, why she, are you so ready? <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm so ready. Though. He's excited. No, no, no. When the pandemic first hit, Blue niggas was COVID. buying guns and ammo Thank like you. crazy. Yeah, they were. <laughs> no, that's a fact. There were lines outside were. of the gun shops like they were sneakers. It's pieces. old ladies, it's young niggas. It's so that made bed, me think, all type of people. what they getting ready for? Yeah, right. Right. I might yeah. not be ready. <laughs> so I got ready. <laughs> I'm ready for them and you niggas. I'm not right. playing. Right. Me. That's how you felt? I got one of those too. <laughs> I got one of those right. too. No bullshit. No yeah. cap. Yeah. Oh my God. Holographics, man, you know sight on there and everything. Niggas. Don't listen to the baby in the morning. Oh, no, that shit has energy. Yo, <laughs> that shit has energy. Energy. On a thousand, <laughs> man. Every day. I was like, oh my goodness. That's not good for you. <laughs> oh my you to God. I know some gospel or something. <laughs> right. I woke up on a trillion. <laughs> All right, so we, we kind of unpacked that a little bit. What else has been going on? Williker. These sex tape leaks. Mm. That I did not see, and I don't know who who whose tapes are they. I heard about the it's Isaiah Rashad, right? Yeah, I heard about Isaiah Rashad. Okay. I he's a rapper on um, SoundCloud. No, 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 no. Stop. He's with J Cole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nah, Isaiah Rashad is with uh, oh, K Dot. TDE. Yeah, 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 yeah. my fault. Okay. K Dot. He's with TDE, oh. but from what I heard, and I heard this on another podcast, they were talking about basically his <laughs> tape leaked, and it was almost on some like uh, revenge porn because he was getting his dick sucked by a dude. I just... That's what I heard. B. Hood say he saw it. No. no. Hey, don't put that on me. <laughs> Fuck no. B. Hood said he clicked. Wasn't looking for it. Never seen it. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, don't, don't put that on him. Nah. No, it's fucking funny. <laughs> no, it was funny the way he was like, I, now that one. I was like, whoa, oh, buddy. That was the pre-show, y'all. It was different. <laughs> That's some pre-show stuff. You fucked up. You fucked up, B. Hood. She fucked up, bro. She brought it up. I wasn't gonna say that. Right, 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 right. the pre-show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was before. right under the bus. Your own people. <laughs> um, and then the other one, obviously, we seen the Nelly memes. Yeah. <laughs> Why are these hoes playing with Nelly like they wouldn't slide? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. No, that meme is the funniest one. I, saw. <laughs> I didn't see a whole oh, bunch. Of, I seen some shrimp emojis and people were saying he had a little wee wee and all this other stuff. Listen, I, I don't know. I didn't see it. Right. I don't I'm care. Just, I, I never. Whenever someone says, "Oh my God, there's a sex tape," I'm not looking for the link. Right. I don't know. Like, who, who does that? They're calling for the Method Man leak. <laughs> Why? The birds love Method Man right now. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess my mom mm-hmm. does too. I'm sure. It's weird. Yeah. Your my old lady phone. Your mom will go find that leak. Right. <laughs> that shit <laughs> drop. You would not. It's already safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, y'all ever had a tape leak? A video leak? I never had a tape. Nah. You, now you, come on, man. Wait, tape wait, means you wait. recorded it with your phone, not an actual tape. Mm-mm. I mean, mm, no. I've never recorded anything. <laughs> and there's nothing anywhere on the internet with my face in it. Just your feet. Just want to say that. Oh, yeah. I've sold my feet pictures before. That's disgusting. It is, but I don't care. Yeah, I know what you saying. You give me money to look at my feet? Sure. Y'all never been recorded? I Is didn't that what say that. You literally just said that. Didn't said you I've literally never just say recorded. that? She did. She said, I've never been recorded. No, I said, I've never recorded. It doesn't matter who's <laughs> holding the camera. I, Is it footage? I, so has anybody else I've ever recorded, recorded you and leaked it? Gosh almighty. Fifth. Oh, <laughs> you got a leak. Whoa, well, no, That's no leaks. Word. We don't do leaks out here. Weirdos leak girls' It probably got leaked tapes. in a group chat. If it was some really? fire, it might have. I don't think Nick. See, I think women do that more than men. We don't really. I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm not having sex with my girl, recording it, and then throwing that in the group chat for me and my niggas to critique. Right. Yeah, that's kind of. That's wild. a woman thing. We be like, yeah. look how he was choking me up, girl. No, no, we don't. 
I what bitches are you talking about? Who are you hanging with? <laughs> now I'm in a group Who chat. Who you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't want to be in that. Yeah. Flip, I just know groups of girls that they send each other their pictures of them naked. Like, girl, I'm, I'm in the, you know what I mean? No, that's weird. Y'all not 30 yet. We're not. No. Yeah. India, you think that's going to be you in a couple years? Also, no. <laughs> Did you think this was going to be you now? I knew I was going to be that bitch. <laughs> You're not. Stop saying <laughs> 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 I always knew it was coming. The glow up will be televised. Thank you. What is the glow up? Uh, and as y'all can't can tell, see it. I mean, even I keep still, running subscribe. History. This is a bullshit podcast. <laughs> 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 Niggas that said fuck Valentine's Day. I don't know. I don't believe them. No. Yeah. Niggas is not keeping that same energy. Before I get into them and their glow ups, though, how do the side hoes handle that the 13th is also Super Bowl Sunday? Because normally this would be a day maybe I could get the yeah, side you could slide. Yeah. But now it's like, eh, That's a good question. it's Super Bowl Sunday, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's and Monday yeah. is for her. And then if you get hit up on Tuesday, that nigga does not fuck with you at all. Damn. You got the Tuesday? And he gonna bring you dick and little Caesars. He could have he could have got you on Friday. He could have hit you up on Saturday. Uh, could have definitely could have started her. You finna slide off to Walgreens and Oh no, they was outside yesterday. I went to Butcher's Sun and sat at the bar and it was packed in there. I was like, niggas come to Butcher's Sun for Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Niggas go everywhere. <laughs> when I was at the bar, you I was like, what are the Valentine's specials? Valentine's Day is the day where all the restaurants are booked. So most of the time you can't get into the one you want. Well, Real if you're dumb, the one if you're dumb and you waited that long, you're supposed to be, come on now. You well, I don't know. I was sitting at the bar. I was by myself. It was a lot of couples at the bar. And I was like, yo, what's the specials? Because sometimes they have pretty good specials. And she's like, oh, they're all kind of like for couples. It's like, well, I'm in a relationship. I'm just by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, could, you could have it. I was like, all right, whatever, bitch. Fuck you. He said, he said I'm, not, I'm not lonely. I'm not by myself. Look, man, this is a pet peeve of mine. They're on their phones while we're going. Oh, my God. I was taking... A story video. Not story professional at all. I'm an amateur to this. I'm sorry. I didn't know your standards. They're high. I'm I apologize. fucking hungry, bro. So is the glow up just a physical appearance thing? Um, Yes and no. 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 no yes I mean, no. for men, it's not clearly, but. Right, but for women, it, yes and no. And mm-hmm. mo- a lot of the time, when you have a physical glow up, the rest of your life kind of get better anyway. Yeah. Because like women's lives are based around physicalities first. Hmm. Basically, hmm. you like know, it. for the most part. So yeah, I glowed the fuck up. I cannot. W- I know it's corny, but I cannot fucking wait for the high school reunion. <laughs> that is super. I know corny. that's what? so corny. You and haven't she, had your high school reunion yet. No, she's been trying to get this topic off for a minute because she put it on the thing and I was ignoring it. No, <laughs> let's go so ahead. I didn't go to my high school reunion. I was like. Regular, regular. You know, people liked me. I was liked. It's regular. still regular, regular. <laughs> okay, but now I'm fine as fuck. I guess if you say so. Compared to tape being on your nose, yeah. Yes, there mm. are some. What? There are some crazy. Look, it's on her face. So you're going yeah. to your your high school reunion? You're gonna go? I, if I decide to grace him with my presence, I might be. I don't know. That's a year. Out of the <laughs> I was too busy for my <laughs> high school reunion. I don't even know what day it was. I don't know. I don't even know if we're gonna have one. Niggas don't coordinate things anymore they do for high school reunions yeah. somebody that's eager to go like you because they're like i want it's everybody to see me huh the 10, 10 year, year i think they have a 20 year i don't know i'm yeah, not going i'm is, never going mine would be this year for 10 years i can't but believe you're that old i don't know if i'm excited to go or not like i just don't care because i actually kept in touch with a lot of people from high school mm-hmm. so for mm-hmm. me it's not really a reunion it's like yeah. i just saw y'all last night <laughs> no i didn't like all the niggas that they My, I don't even like talking about high school. It's like I'm a I don't even want to be around people that want to talk about high school. Yeah, when niggas true. come up to me and they start about talking school. about high school, I'd be like, I feel I like the go. only time they're trying to like relive the glory is, days is, is at the reunion. That it would be the only. I time wouldn't want to talk about it then. I don't know. And I I was actually pretty cool in high school, and I still don't want to talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> I just me too. life just is weird looking to me. I was a lot less cool. Now I'm awesome. Are you awesome because you feel like you look better? Yes. That's very And I mean, I'm sad. just awesome as a person. Do y'all feel bad for ugly people? Yes, I've cried about ugly people before because it's a beautiful people's world for the most part, unless you have money. But for people that are ugly and poor. Damn. That, <laughs> right. I, I'm not kidding. I think I was high, but I actually cried about it. I actually cried about it. This Sorry. is weird to hear. I don't know. I mean, because I like I, I say I'm medium ugly all the time. 
I don't really care about that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I'm a guy, so. I feel like if you, you know, know how to work your ugly, it's fine. If you know how to work your ugly? Yeah, because explain. some people, like, you know what? they, right. you know they hit, but they carry themselves where, like. Right, they, the confidence mm-hmm. level. Although yeah. they're yeah. ugly, their personality is not Your personality ugly. has they're to be. They're sociable yeah. with a lot of people. And it's just yeah. like, I don't mind you being ugly and being around me. If your vibe is right, yeah, yeah. but don't so be it's ugly like, and have a fucked yeah. Don't up vibe. be ugly and <laughs> act ugly, right. because at that point, I I don't <coughs> really feel bad for you because there's space and opportunity to improve. You're just yeah. choosing not to. I agree. Mm-hmm. I think guys, we deal with it better because we like. I don't think I'm like I'm not a Chris Featherson, you know, but I'm alright looking. I dress good. I always make sure I smell good. Right. Those are I'm good. fun. Yeah. I'm knowledgeable. You got to know that when you're a guy, though. You're like, damn, how am I going to get these bitches if I'm ugly? <laughs> I got to right. beat out bitches, but damn, I said it twice. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to stop saying um, the B word as much as I describe uh, women. Right, right, right. Y'all are being really boring. That's a good goal. <laughs> I mean, I'm... To not call women I'm taking I don't B really words as fuck. much. I'm saying because right. I want my show to be bigger, and you can't, you can't say bitch all the time. And I'll bleep it out again. What word would I you mean, say in place of bitch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ho? Nah. Nah. I don't, I mean, we, no. I don't know. That and the N-word, I don't care about saying the N-word. See, but, okay, I don't know. I feel like on a podcast you should be authentic. No, I'm being authentic, but I still, it's harsh. Since when do you give a fuck? I do. I'm very. I, I think do. I, no, that was I, a lie. I heard it in your voice. You heard the lie? I think I'm I misunderstood no, the fuck you a don't. lot. I think I'm very misunderstood. You need a tissue? No, I don't. <laughs> Stop. You know, I don't care. I just think, I mean, when it, he is an acquired taste. He I'm is. really helping people out and hooking niggas up. And yes. I'm, right. I'm very hospitable, all those things. Yes, you, you mean are. well. You're a lot of wonderful things, cousin. I think people want you to be like, oh, I'm here. You're here. Let's be happy together. I'm like, bro, happiness is not indicative of my outward appearance. These niggas are being born. <laughs> oh, Willie! No, um, fuck, you made me forget what I was going to say. All right, I got a special story for you niggas. I love special stories. There was a woman. She's terminally ill. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah. And on her, not her deathbed, like not she's about to die tomorrow, but some of the things her husband's like trying to get her get done for her mm-hmm. as she's about to transition, she says, I want to go have sex with my ex. Man, man, man. Ooh, bold. Let's start with Hood. What do you think about that, bro? <laughs> She's on her deathbed. She's like, you know, and they've been married for a minute. I think I think the post was like 20 years or something like that. Okay. 20 years, you're older, uh, you're terminally ill, but your girl's like, I kind of want to go back and, and fuck this nigga one more time before I go. Fuck no. Before I die. <laughs> I would just say fuck no. Just me personally. Like, I, a part of me be like, I don't really give a damn. Mm-hmm. But then the other part, more of me is like, fuck, nah. Uh, is that your like, dying? Like, that shit just sounds kind of crazy. Dying. Like, when her why, dying why is that yeah. nigga? But, like, why is that nigga on your mind? Why you're you not? Oh, he's been before. on Well, I'm taking care he's of you. He's probably the one that got away from her. He's yeah, been it's taking, niggas like we yeah. talked about. Like, niggas got an imprint. You know what I mean? It's either he got female. away or he dicked you down better than anyone ever dicked you down in your life. Including but you should have those taking care I'm, of you. That's a wide gamut. Like that's too wide of a, a margin for right. me. Either he dicked you down or he like no nigga. There's too much in the between. I got a pretty know. fucked up question, but like, is it a guarantee she gonna die? Like, are we sure? Well, you know, doctors like I think on the post. That, your I think <laughs> <is fucked. laughs> right. That's I, what I'm think, saying. I think they posted that she had like six to nine months to live. Mm-hmm. 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 I feel like last dying request. I mean, that was the last. If that's what she wants. That's what she wants. Yeah, you that's what's gonna though? satisfy her and make. If that's what's gonna put a smile on her face before she goes, then I feel oh like. God. But they've been married for like twenty years, bro. But clearly, he. Wants All right, hold on. Back. So, I got a I question. I think it would be <laughs> as bad if it wasn't an ex. Like if she was just saying like I want to fuck someone random. But listen, do does the husband know about this nigga prior to this request? I don't know that part. Probably though. Yeah, I would hope so. You've been together that long. You probably should know yeah. most yeah. things about that human. What you feel about it, Dean, bro? What you, what you think, bro? Mm, I don't know. If he was really in that situation, like, how you carrying it? <sighs> 20 years. Damn. Caitlin's like, I just really need to go back and fuck Jerome. <laughs> Can you contact <laughs> well, why him? Why is nigga Can, you <laughs> Can you contact I him? I don't know. My pride is not like that. So I don't know if I would, how I would feel, honestly. I might, if you about to die, I might be like, all right. I don't know. Yeah. That's why I say I'm, I'm not like, you know, 
Right. I'm not, I don't know, man. I'm, I know I'm a little weird. I'm not like super gun ho and all that shit. I don't like when girl, like, Kaylin be like, yo, you the best, this, and the third. I don't like hearing that shit. Mm. I almost think you trying to gas me up all the time. Mm. I mean, I guess, no, but I can hear the, like, what that you would say in the moment. I don't know. If you're dying, you would be surprised as fuck. But my, like, I guess my problem what? is, is more so, why is this your last request? Why couldn't it be like, I just yeah, want to go to Disney prob- World and see and a famous you nigga don't or some shit like that? Because that. when she's like, he did this tongue thing? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> you don't want to know the answer. But no, 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 that. no, I would never That you've never done. The question. I would never he ask the question. It's BB thinking it like, why I think people always like, I don't look at people as possessions like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know. I ain't trying to hold a nigga back, but. Yeah, and I just. I don't know, man. I've had but. lots of different types of relationships. I think we're, we're, you know, they, what they say, love's cursed by monogamy. That's oh yeah. Like, but, but what, what could you tell you about that? Like, you can't ask that question anyway. You can't say. Yeah. Who, I don't know why. if I would even ask for an like, explainer. No. The way his hips was set up, that no. I just I feel don't, like no. if it's a guarantee, she gonna die. Let's it should be know. cool, but if she somehow miraculously healed so after she fucked, you're bro, getting a divorce. We <laughs> done. Like yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's smacking and you back. You up, you up and out. Like, you are done. <laughs> you're clear. I'm better. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm. I thought that was a crazy story. Like, nah, that's wild. I'm just going in there with that's, fifty. That's fingers. actually wild. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would know, just have to. You can ask for whatever the fuck you want when you're about to die. You can ask. But you better ask and you shall receive. Like, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> we. Mm. I don't really have any exes that I would go back and be like, oh, I have to fuck that guy. I definitely don't. Ooh, wait. Nah. Mm. 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 Look at this shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so with it being Valentine's Day weekend, we talked about the all the fuck you reasons why we don't really fuck with Valentine's Day. What are y'all's things like? What is spoiling to you? Like, how can a man spoil you guys? And they don't speak for all women, obviously, because it's mm. Lydia. Are you part of Bird Gang too? Yes. <laughs> she inducted you. She's a loyal supporter. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Supporter and part of are two different things. You can support okay, the Bird yeah, Gang yeah. from afar. She's in the gang. You're in the gang. I don't know what we're talking. about. The Bird Gang. Her Bird Gang. Ah. We, nigga, we live in the same nest. You're in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? We do. We live together. But no, what's spoiling to y'all? Or do y'all want me to go first? Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm being spoiled already. Like, but what is it? What exactly, we, nigga. Yeah, Damn, we're trying to do a show, man. <laughs> okay. Why I'm is he doing there. to spoil you? I'm getting there. Oh, I, I, I Ali, you left me with the D mic. <laughs> fuck. Can I get my shit off or no? Jesus. I feel like, okay, for Valentine's Day or just in general? In general. Okay, in general, I feel like I'm being spoiled already. We don't my care. life is cushy. We I'm don't fine. care about Valentine's Day. Everything's fine. But Everything's he's saying okay. when you say you're being spoiled already, what does that yeah. mean? Please, thank you. Yeah. Please. I'm, what does that mean? I, I'm trying. What is he doing that's spoiling you? Jesus. You going around the bush. I'm not. You are. Everybody my else knows it but you. <laughs> <laughs> my bills are paid. Okay. I'm living good. He treats me well with respect. We speak to each other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that to me is spoiling because I've been through some rough shit. So. Is that spoiling? Or is that just the new standard now? Oh, it's probably the new standard. Like if we, if we don't work out, heaven forbid. But that that would be the new standard mm-hmm. for real, definitely. But women do that. Like once we date this nigga, we don't never go. We try. <laughs> I'm mean, oh, lie again. Come on, yeah. Right. Go, on. They go back all yeah, the time. Yeah. They well, actually don't, don't realize that he was the peak of their their existence, and she goes back because he didn't. Maybe he couldn't dress, but the cool nigga could. Right, right. So then they go back to fuck with the cool nigga. Mm, don't do dummies. That. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was doing everything. He was I like, don't know. In my just, brain, he's I not to lit. Go up, not down, and I think I've succeeded in doing that. Like every time, it's better. Every time. Yeah, I don't think I've gone down. Before. I think you make a lot of lateral moves. Lateral moves. Yeah. Well, this is not one of like a before. shuffle. <laughs> 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 what about you, man? What's spoiling you? Mm. Please give me a real answer. And he's like, like, I, I want a Birkin. Like, no, no. Do you oh, want a Birkin? Want no, Everybody. you want a Chanel. That's like the one. new Birkin. <gasps> no. But I feel like being spoiled for me is speaking my love languages. Like, mm. but speaking them both when I ask you to, and also when I'm not even aware that that's what you're doing. But I feel the like I feel it. 
Mm-hmm. Because it's like I could just be in a place where I'm minding my own business, on my own vibe, doing my own thing. Yeah. And then you're just like, hey, babe, I know your car needs an oil change. So I already set the appointment and mm-hmm. I'll take it while you go to work. And it's you like know, something bars. that was in the That's back bars. of my right. mind. Like, was secretary. I wasn't even thinking about it, but it's just like, damn, you're right. I do need that oil change. Like, So it's like just speaking about love, love language? language. So acts of service definitely is in my top two. Mine. Um, and also physical touch. So okay. those are my top two like biggest things. And it's just like I'm one of those people where I can tell you everything I'm feeling in that moment, really but I don't know how to fix what I'm feeling. Mm. So it's just like, I'm really anxious about what's going on. Like, I have this deadline coming up, and I have to do this, and I have to do that. And it's just like, I get a hug. And it's like, damn, I would have never thought something so simple would be the solution to just calming me. Mm. So it's like, that for me is spoiling. India is about but to take her spot. But I will <laughs> say that so, I have a lot of so. friends that when they talk about they're getting spoiled, they're like, I got my nails done. I got my yeah, hair done. Yeah. That's maintenance. Right. That is not spoiling. Right. Like, but, see, but see, this is the thing, though. Normally, if you were single and you have to pay that stuff by yourself, it might feel like spoiling. Like, if you were single, you have to pay your bills by yourself. To me, they're not on the same. Maintenance and paying your bills are the same. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess for so me. So, to that girl that don't got the 120 yeah. to get her nails done, she <laughs> might be like, oh, my God, this nigga got my nails done. True. You know, True. same shit with the bills. But I just feel like an expectation in a relationship is you make sure I'm good, I make sure you good. So it's just like, for me, maintenance is a part of making sure that I'm operating on the level that I should be. Mm. So Mm. I guess that's why I don't see it as spoiling. But everything that I did originally say, I do. So it's just like speaking my love. I just, I would just pair, you know, because a lot of times we'll be like, oh, that's not spoiling, bitch. You got your nails done. But that's the same maintenance as electricity. Mm -hmm. To a guy, to me, if I'm spending my bread, they're the same. Right. Because you're spending on something that ain't you. No, maintaining something, like you said, you do want to keep, you know, even for me, like, I don't know what spoiling is to me. I was going to ask y'all what y'all do to spoil, but I, uh, I don't ask for shit for real. You don't? I, yeah, just give me some peace, bro. Spoil me with <laughs> peace. That's all they want, for real. Yeah, no, You really. know, everything Man, else. want to be, like, left alone sometimes. <laughs> a lot. A lot of the times. That's the <laughs> truth. But when, you know, just make shit easier. And I think, Caitlin, for me, she doesn't. I don't, like, it's a lot of shit I don't have to do at all. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's spoiling me. Other, other than that, I can't really think of nothing that I would want to yeah. be spoiled because everything else I was like, yo, I got to take care of myself. Mm-hmm. It's a guy thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Kill or be killed. <laughs> <laughs> you got to relax. got to chill. <laughs> you got to relax. <laughs> no, but that's the truth. I'm telling you, you can always relate everything back How to. How we go from being spoiled to kill or be killed? Because I'm just saying, like, the mental of a guy is like, I can't be looking for somebody to take care of me. Right. I got to take care of myself. And yeah. I just always look back at, like, you got to go out here and kill what you eat, fam. But I feel like that's a common thing for men, like, just making things easier for them. That really is yeah. just how men like to be spoiled. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even let her buy my Xbox or my PlayStation. I don't, I don't know. You ain't even going to tell nobody you did that for me. These niggas out here really be needing a PlayStation. Yeah. Right. They really be like, oh, she bought me a PlayStation. <laughs> did oh she buy God. you a car? Because you need one. <laughs> like, that's how and you shouldn't be with a man that you got to buy him a car. He can't get the A to B. I learned that hard. That's the problem. The hard way. You bought a car for a nigga? No. I'm no, he was say, driving. What? He was yeah. Jody driving her car. See, but then yeah. they all watched Baby mm-hmm. Boy and Jody was fucking mm-hmm. the shit out of that. Nah. <laughs> he was dogging her ass out. She was getting up, getting them tacos, and then he would hop off in her shit and skirt off and be going all day. Oh, yeah. That yeah. ain't it. I've been there before. Probably came back with the gas tank on e, huh? Oh, yes. On e, on e. <laughs> See, that's, it was a yeah. dark no. place. <laughs> it had a bitch in my car. Oh, that's they always. Solid, come, on, come on, man. Niggas are wild. Yeah, but you know what? She was, what did you have at that time? Like a cobalt or something? Yeah. Yo, this cold, nigga, yeah. Yo, yo, Riding nigga. around in the beep beep. In the ee, ee. Yo, can you imagine being a dude? I'm in my girl car. She drive a cobalt and I got bitch. <laughs> Cold the two door, the little one. That nigga oh cold my blooded. god! It had automatic windows, so we had to roll. Did I? Oh my. You had to Look, roll. She had to roll the <laughs> window. No, 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 I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. Because Cobalt had don't roll the windows for a minute. Hey, hey, look, man. Man. that's okay, you know, and, but a lot of women fall into that though. Of course, it's the dick. And then when you're young and stupid, like that's all really like, your hormones are raging. You want the dick all the time. Y'all gonna want it a lot more or, when y'all you know, get 30. About them say, niggas, yeah, yeah. And them niggas, they get free head all the time. Free head? <laughs> That's what, it's what I call it when it's like random. For no reason and you don't expect nothing back. Like you just go eat the pussy and go away. These niggas are so corny. Mm. Jesus. That's what they do. I never fell into that trap, even when I was young and dumb. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> was? No. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I was. So, young and young. You, you but... out of that? You out of that face? <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Why do y'all think that? Because she thinks that too. I don't think so. I just think like I'm living better now. When you start living better, then you can look back and be like, wow, that was really that was. But are you animal. living better because of? Bro, or are you living better because you're living better? Those I'm living people. better because of me in a yeah. mental way. Like, my mental state is good. Like, my, my brain, everything is fine. I'm mm-hmm. a whole Because you don't have the stresses person. of regular life. Right. Yeah. That's, you know, what living if better. those come back? Are you going to be living back how you were? Then you got to be living better, period. No, I think I will be. I think, I think I'm good. I hope so, too, cousin. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I'm not young that fall. anymore. <laughs> because, yes, my lifestyle has improved. I have been through the slums, but also I have. You always like, I really are right, times. <laughs> but also, my standards have improved as well. So I feel like for me, they probably weren't where they should have been because I didn't know any better. I didn't really have like a role model mm. of this is how you should carry I'm yourself. Like said that yeah. because that's why I be so mad at this nigga. Look at me. How did you end up with a nigga with no car? The dick. What the fuck? Kind of see, and you know what it was, <laughs> and you know, you know what else it was. No, we go. No, he was the no, nigga that always had a plan. No man, listen, but no action. Yo, but you've been around me your whole life. This nigga's about action. I ain't about nothing else. All that talking shit is irrelevant. I don't know what how you know. the fuck. You know, it's my fault because I think about this now. When I grew up, I used to pick her up, buy her stuff, take her out to eat, all that stuff. Like this is how a nigga's supposed to treat you. Mm-hmm. But I never talked to her about don't let no nigga dickmatize you. Don't. Mm-hmm. Ne- you didn't. I mean, it's not, not some, your fault. No, and that, now that I think about it, I'm like, I'm going to make sure I tell my daughter, don't let these bummy niggas, they're mm-hmm. super good Powerful. at fucking because they got to go. They don't have nowhere to stay. Right. He got to live with you. He got to drive your he car. He know he got to fuck you so well. He's got to go fuck to sleep you to survive. He can stay the night. That's the only thing at the table. He's got to fuck you to it. sleep. That's the only crumb this man can, can bring. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't talk to my cousin about that. Yeah. I didn't think I needed to. I figured you would at least fuck with niggas that had their shit together. Nah, niggas be homeless, bro. But <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> really, they really do. They really do, and then they always be cheating. Now, hold on. This is when the relationship this is a slippery going down. Conversation. You got to go down it anyway, nah, to really live with. Oh, but it's crazy. Do you think I got this? Made me think. I've never had to fuck for survival. Does that mean there's a level of dick given that I have not achieved yet? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> because, I don't. Because, wanna, because I'm not like I'm yo. If I don't level? give, yeah. <laughs> am I like at the, the peak for me? But there's another level that I haven't reached yet. nigga. When a nigga is homeless and ain't got like, yo, I gotta yeah, fuck her or she's not top. gonna feed me. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh really. man. Yeah. Am I shortchanging Caitlyn? Do I need to like lose my job? <laughs> I don't think she would feel shortchanged, but now I'm sitting here thinking yeah, like, got I ball. never had to like. You gotta think like niggas that like play ball like, yo, this is the only way I'm gonna make it out. Like that's why they be so dedicated. Maybe this nigga's dick game was on a, a trillion because right. he's like, I need a car for the morning. <laughs> right. Damn. That shit is a well thought out. I'm gonna go in there. She yes. thinks it's free head, but I really need the car tomorrow. Mm-hmm. 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 No, that that really is hobby. Like he sits at home all day doing his kegels. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, like that's his workout. <laughs> he's playing 2K. He's getting his kegels. <laughs> and he's just waiting for you. His finger dexterity. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's a serious. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be a good clip. I needed to. We gotta think about that. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. I never I thought of it that way. That's real. Yeah, because I I would life. say yeah, you know I've been punishing shit out here for a long time, but it's most of the tips they you might be survive. like, oh, but he can take me out and he can do this for me, and it's like, right. But there's a a nigga that I know that you like, <laughs> um, the dick. See, he wasn't this why that good, like, but he did so much. Yeah, me. that's what I'm saying. Nah, that's why she was on her deathbed. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's right. It. She said, I need that homeless, carless, jobless dick. dick. Damn. <laughs> and I have all three, so maybe I'm like lazy with it. I don't know. Oh, man. Your dick priorities is fucked up. <laughs> no. I, to I need to yourself. lose everything. <laughs> Get home and- Shit. <laughs> No, seriously, no, baby. They're like, Caitlin, I got a point to prove. I need to lose everything to come back stronger. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's a right. tough life. I'm I just was, I was, when y'all, you know, listen, you, you oh, I've been down a dark path. I guess it was attached to some good dick because you had to probably do everything. That was the only light in the tunnel. <laughs> that was the only fucking Jesus. light. The little, the little candle. Nah. Yeah, and she might be putting it's up with me because I can <gasps> block or whatever. Damn. I don't know. <laughs> what's the fl- what's the right. flyest way y'all been presented with a gift since we still talking like about the flyest way yeah like the most like oh shit he like 
damn, that was fire. You just give it to me. Yeah. I'm about to say it. I don't give a fuck about the presentation. Mm. No, it's I'm in the box. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the box? I'm excited. Well, I'm I've had my college, when I was in college, I was dating this guy and he redid the interior of my entire dorm room. Mm. And I came from class and I walked into my apartment and I had seen that. That's nice. Oh no, he was in trouble. I'm sure. That was that was when I learned pull up culture. It was two days prior to him reading the pull my up room. queen. <laughs> she like, if you don't answer my text, I'm in the car. <laughs> the pull up queen. I be telling like Andy, that's nasty Max, word. Chill, <laughs> he might be busy. Like I'm gonna just Yo. go see. It's his fault. Okay, it's his fault. It's that nigga's fault. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I was I was dating this guy. Might as well tell a story now. I was dating this guy, and he had an ex that was always around. Mm-hmm. But um, Red flag. I never knew she was around until like we would be hanging out. He'd be like, "Oh, hey, she's going to swing by. She was in town. She lives in Richmond. Mm-hmm. We are she in Norfolk. Right. Why is she in town? <clears throat> it ain't. That's a short drive. The dick. But like one day he was at home chilling, and I was on campus. I was just kicking it. No and then, the fuck, man. I I kept calling him and texting him. Mm-hmm. It was no responses. And the only reason I was blowing up this man phone is because we have plans tonight. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, like, yep. where are you now? I'm worried about you. I'm legit worried. Like, are you okay? Do y'all really be worried, or just good to say I'm worried For that about you? Particular you night, I was genuinely worried. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because he that wasn't in his character. Okay. So for me, I'm like, that's weird. Like, are, are you really okay? Mm-hmm. I really will pull up on somebody just to check on them. But I will pull up on you with some bad intentions as well. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm honest I about either like one. I, I, I am honest like about either one. Okay. <laughs> but that night, it really was because I was worried. But um, I went to his house, and this is when my intention shifted. Because I saw her car. Oh, my See, God. although I was coming to check on you, now I don't have any good intentions. Right, better. <laughs> because <laughs> why park is around she the corner? right out front? The, she was too comfortable. Fellas, the pull-up is never with good intentions. Shoot. It was at first. Never. If her car went down, that would have been like, yeah, are you, you okay? Did yeah, you get false? Yeah, that'd be happening. Yeah, no. That's, that's, but, the, um, that's no. the clean-up answer. Right. The intentions <laughs> were bad. If I pull up and there is no car... Then it's then oh, I, I just wanted to check about. on you. Nah, yes. that car was right. But if the car is there, it's like I knew it. Whoop de whoop. Like uh, uh, <laughs> it won't even know something I knew. I, look, y'all <laughs> gotta understand. Like y'all don't know me that well. That's fine. But I knocked on the door. Why did she answer? Oh, what the fuck? She answered his front door. No, I knocked calmly, and she came to the front door. Dang. And I was just like, "Why are you here? Like, let's start there." You gotta be real comfortable for you. But to open also, the, door. the fault wasn't on her. I was angry at him mm-hmm. because it's like. Not only do you have her here, but you're ignoring me. Mm. That's my problem. Mm. My problem is with you, not her. Did it look like niggas had just got finished? You know what I mean? Nah, like it looked like, like they might have been chilling. Yeah. But she fucked it up because I came in the house. Yeah. I'm not about to just leave. Right. So I came in the house <laughs> and they were sitting on the couch watching TV. And he had like this other little table right by the TV. So I sat there because I'm just like... Away from oh, oh wait, so you like the third wheel? I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. It was some subconscious stuff. So the chairs were slightly higher than the couch. So mm. it's like this is my throne, and I'm looking at you niggas right now. Like <laughs> I'm on the. Couch. That's how I'm I felt. My ass in between y'all. But I'm yeah, I'm about they, to say. So you're separated from them. Yeah, they said nothing was going on, but she was just like, "Why is she here? Why are you here? Like, let's hello." Ooh. But she was just like, why is she here? Like, what's going on? Did you invite her? I really don't get it. And what set me off is he had a one-bedroom apartment, y'all. I went to go to the bathroom, and her overnight bag was in the room. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he definitely got I was, I was through. Like, yeah, I walked out on uh, some foul shit. The, like, I walked out, and I was just like, bag. I started popping off. Mm-hmm. I can't even lie. Like, I was snapping. I was cussing. I was angry. And she was just like, well, you can go. You can go. And I was just like, you right. But when I leave, I'm dragging your ass with me. Like, I meant that, like, I'm going to leave him in peace. We're going to both go. But um, he ended up kicking her out, which, yeah, because he understood. But he kicked her out. I cursed him out, and then I left. Because I'm still not staying with you when I just see somebody else overnight bag in your room. That's the worst, when you pick the wrong one to tell to go. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's what he did, so... <laughs> They both left, nigga. Now you you know you gotta call her back. Like yep. uh, your back's you still your under hand. the bed. Right. <laughs> She's gone now. Pull up culture got real after that. But two days later, this was supposed to he be about redid my yeah. college dorm room, and that was that's okay. Yeah, that was the greatest 
presentation yep. of a gift. There we go. That's because he messed up about. the worst. Yeah, that <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. I, see, I've never had nothing super wild. Mm. No, not involving a different bitch. Like I never pulled up with, inside. No, that was her story. Else. She just told us the backstory to why he basically. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So why he saying, went like, out in from general? Like <clears throat> that wild shit doesn't really happen to me. It's just the ghetto shit that happens to me. You ghetto. Ooh, a little bit. It's fine. I know who I am. It's respectable. I know who I am. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, my, no, my I best know. gift give. I got some good ones. I ain't gonna hold it up. Gift, gift giving? Yeah, yeah. I, I oh. thought this was about receiving. I don't get gifts like that. I don't. I'm not a big. Come on. Anyway. I gave you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. Gave. Oh, oh. This is fire. I've told this story. Not on the pod though. I bought Caitlyn a car, <clears throat> but she was at work and she wanted to trade in her car. So I called like, "Hey, come up to Mercedes. Bring the whip on your lunch break. Bring the whip. We look at cars." Swap it out. You leave in the new bands. It was fire. Yeah. Don't get on no fire. On her lunch break? On the lunch, lunch break. That's fire. It is. On the that's lunch break. That's fire. It is. She must have had an hour. Only get 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 Only get 30 minutes. We ain't doing nothing. Nah, that shit is unfair. I might can send you a picture of that 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> She, she must get an hour. <laughs> that was funny. I'm telling you, she about to take your spot, funny. fam. She's like, ain't no way. No, no, no. I barely make it. Andy, what do you do on hell. Sunday? <laughs> right, right. God, damn. Yo, that's Look, funny. But no, that, I thought that was some fire. The house. I've done some some good gifts, but I think that's probably my most fire don't. No, that's dope. Yeah. I don't know. I, I should have recorded it and posted it. I'd probably be viral already. Mm. Hating ass thing. I try to do it on some low key shit. That's cool, because that's, that's, yeah, that's true right. to you, though. Oh, no, yeah, I'm a low-key nigga, but... Yeah, yeah, that's true to you. I see niggas buy girls the baby bins and sprawl money out on... Let me stop for people, like, trying to put... Not the CLA. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm like, the CLA? <laughs> I told man, I wouldn't drive... I wouldn't buy you nothing I wouldn't push myself. Same with clothes. Like, I would not walk around dressed like I dress and then not make sure my girl dressed, like, on the same level. Tier. Right. Period. Yeah, your girl is a reflection of you after a certain point. Period. She's your girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially you got a kid with her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I can't be walking around wearing Balenciagas and my girl shops at, I don't know where she would shop at. But. Olive Olay or some shit. Oh, I would never. You say look, look, look. that's that bad place. I love Olive Olay. Oh, oh, oh. 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 be having all the cute clothes. I need you to and... chill out. Bro, <laughs> this is the bird game. And I got this jacket that you complimented from Olive Olay. Oh, so shut up. Now I got to touch it. Ew. Mm. What? <laughs> 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 He it said it felt like way. Newport. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. Oh, my God. All of a lady packed on the Friday. Oh, I know. On the Friday. Because oh you got to go get the 2022? Like now? Oh, now it's like Fashion Nova been in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got Fashion Nova in there now? No, no, no. no she's no. saying it's I'm like saying that. It's like, like that. that. You know, like Fashion Nova is like the online thing for bitches. Like all the bitches. Whatever, mm-hmm. whatever fuck. It's like... All Women got it back. so easy in the clothes game. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah we don't. Yeah, have we to. No yeah. nigga could just really like. Do. I mean, we do go like <laughs> buy outfits just for an occasion, but it's like you're not spending that kind of bread. We gotta spend for, for the one for the one piece, the right. one time wear. Y'all niggas just yeah. spend a good fifty, sixty dollars on fashion over and be straight, straight for real, straight. and look good on the sale. Look hella good. And it's you know another thing too though the girls that do the wear the designer it's no like. It's a few girls that I see that like, oh, she really trying to pull that off, like mm-hmm. she's doing her thing. Mm-hmm. But most of them just watch what the other girls is wearing, the baby mamas or whoever the fuck, and they double down on that same look. It's not. It's like, eh, it's, you're okay. No <laughs> originality there. None. Oh, no, same, <laughs> same fits. Right. Yeah. I don't like that. I like girls that kind of got their own little. Well, I like Caitlyn, but I like. Women. <laughs> <Good thing. laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, she got her own swag. Now it is a reflection of me because I pick a lot of her stuff. Mm-hmm. On my Kanye Kim shit, but she got her own. You know, she's not trying to yeah. be like everybody else. I am gonna. I got y'all. Got to get off fashion over and fuck with naked wardrobe. Naked I wardrobe naked got wardrobe. some fire yeah, shit. Mm. Yeah, they they got some good. heaters. What's the face? <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck with naked wardrobe? I don't think I've ever even seen that. Yes, you have oh. on me. Remember, I have that green jumpsuit with the zipper, and I have the the brown one. That's that's pants. Oh, you gotta step your uh, online shopping up. Nick, I, gonna have I don't shirt, really only shop shirt online. online. Like, what? because. How do you shop out here and not shop online? Like, not, I go to thing. Amazon, like, and I'll find something, but my issue is a lot of stuff doesn't fit me mm-hmm. because, like, I'm weird. So it's just okay. like a lot of stuff doesn't fit. So I'm a try on person. So this whole 
COVID situation has I'm been good. killing me. I never, I'm actually like a traditional medium in everything. <laughs> right. So like, I don't well, know. And most sizing of, is weird. You got to worry about your titties. No, I, I, I get that. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I don't have that you word. Certain shit, you got to dress. <coughs> it's very rare. It doesn't matter what you store don't. it is. You, we don't really. I mean, I guess like jeans and stuff maybe. And I don't even try. Yeah. Most of the time I'm ordering them. So It's very rare that a nigga's like, oh, that's not going to fit across my chest. Like that. that's not. Suits and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Those have to be bespoke. Isn't that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. okay. I know something. I, t- I told y'all. <laughs> I look like I know some. I'll be knowing things. You don't. I'll be knowing I'll be knowing stuff. Okay. Trust me. Oh man, I'm telling you that that was some real shit I just told you. I didn't talk to her about sex and these niggas and none of that. I just it's like this is how a dude is supposed to treat you. I should have talked to you about fuck niggas more. You should Yeah. 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 But I'd rather trick it <laughs> yeah. off with you and get it right with CNN. <laughs> I am fair enough. Test dummy, <laughs> no, you enough. weren't the test dummy. Because the way my mama raises my sisters is different now, and I'll be mad. You shouldn't be mad. We learn more as we go along. Yeah. I thought I thought I don't have a sister. She's like my you sister. You got two little brothers, though. Yeah, but they're little dudes. It's not dudes the same. is different. Yeah, and we're we, and you end up being different individuals. And then my younger brother didn't really like that. I already had some cachet in school, so when I'm yeah. freshman, I'm big dean. You little dean, nigga. Yeah, you no, can't get around that. So far apart that we we yeah. have never attended the same school. No, nah, me and all my brothers were in high school at the same time. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Yeah, that'd be weird. I was a senior. Malcolm was a sophomore. CJ was a freshman. That's weird. Like just me thinking about it because yeah, I so walking they walk the like halls. And you got I mean like that's hilarious. No, nah, I mean you know Malcolm's different. He does his own yeah. thing, and CJ he was kind of trying to walk them same footsteps. So you gonna be little dean? It happens. But with you, I was just like, all right, this is how niggas. I, I just was like, yo, this is how a dude is supposed to treat you, but I didn't teach That's you about why the pitfalls. You are the reason why I am ratchet bougie. No. Because I'm ratchet just authentically, but I grew up with you and you made me bougie. I couldn't days. have made you bougie. Oh. Yeah, you could. I couldn't have. You did. If you were bougie, you would not fuck with a nigga that has no car That's and not plays true. PlayStation. The dick. That's not true. It's not that simple. <laughs> It's not that simple. It's not that simple. Huh? Well, I've learned my lesson. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, what I'm saying, like, yeah, I'm ratchet bougie now because, like, we were talking the other day on the, on the last pod. I'm not impressed by Ruth Chris. You shouldn't be. It's, but I'll it's get a chalupa cool. from Taco Bell. I feel like Ruth Chris and be is happy. overrated. It is. It's not overrated. People rate it improperly. So it's overrated. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, listen, okay, listen. If somebody told you that Applebee's was five star, we'd rate it differently. But you cate- people categorize Ruth Chris like it's Joe's Stone Crab or Smith and Walensky's or all these other places. Shout out to Miami. You know what I'm saying? They they talk like it's prime or something, and it's not. Out here, it's a top tier steakhouse, I guess. Mm-hmm. But if you put it in the cheesecake factory category, yeah, it's right where it needs to be. It's like, yeah. oh no, that's just yeah. solid. Cheesecake. But people take you like you're Sunday's best to go to Ruth Chris, <laughs> and it's really Applebee's of steakhouses. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. So right. I feel you because rating improperly is overrating. Yeah. But that's only overrating if you rate it higher than what the rating should be. That's if the I, definition of overrating. Yeah, but I didn't say that. But some. Okay, but you're. I said it's rated. <laughs> it has no, I said it'll be underrated. I said rated. Oh, overrated is if I'm rating something higher than it should right, be rated. You're just saying that it also has the ability to be underrated. Yeah, exactly. So my definition is different. Whatever. That's, that's why the words were different. Okay. Semantics. Semantics matter. These are some antics. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, like she was saying on the last part, and I told Willie I didn't like that conversation when I was editing the video. What? Because he was like, they, everybody got stuck on me talking about Ruth Chris, and my point was that Ruth Chris is Applebee, <coughs> and I would rather take a girl there than someone special, even if it's just to get tacos. Yeah. And then we got kind of hung up on Ruth Chris and who's impressed by Ruth Chris, this and the third. And then right. afterwards, I was watching, I was like, that nigga sound like he date better than me. Like, he, like, set better vibes because I'm talking about, like, Ruth is Chris like a basic bitch. And I don't even, it's basic to me. Right. I, I understood what you No, saying. you did. But I'm like, no, the viewers are going to be like, ooh, Willie be like, it's about me and intimate conversation. And, and we're going to eat these fire tacos and, and vibes. Ride. And I, Yeah, exactly. Like and then I was like, smoke. well, I'm not going to Ruth Chris and sit in the <laughs> <laughs> So I said, like, I'm like, yeah. oh, he ain't doing it. He trying to impress us. I'm like, no, bitch, this shit regular. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Fair enough. Whatever. <laughs> what are we supposed to be talking about? I don't right know, now? man. It was I, about gifts, and now we are at Ruth Chris. This is Shoot the Shit Podcast. It is. It's definitely a Shoot the Shit Podcast. I love those. But I do like Indy on the on the couch. She might. Indy is a great person to kiki with. Yeah. 
<laughs> we be weak as a bitch demote you <laughs> and, and let her come do the pod. Whatever. You might have to sit out one and let her take your spot and we see how it goes. Ooh, we. <laughs> Um, Remember he said I'm going home like fuck him. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure it happens. No, she don't, she's no. never like that. At I can't the house. stand that nigga. No, she was no. one time, but not wait, typically. When? I'm sure. Huh? Wait, when? When y'all were talking about like your post on social media and oh yeah. yeah. Anyway, I had family come at me because of how I be talking to Liddy on the podcast. Really? Yes. And I don't how like, so? I was like, y'all gotta pipe down. Do y'all hear? <laughs> the th- no, no, do y'all hear the it? things like you can't talk to her like that? You can't like. My bro, she's on here talking about taking all the dicks. <laughs> and then she makes the clip. All the dicks. Yo, and makes the clip and post it. And I'm supposed to be cool with it. And so all of y'all are cool with that? I was like, fuck it then. I'm they cool can't with see it. my Instagram. Protect yourself. Clearly. Yeah. So they're coming at me like, <laughs> she's an angel, nigga. And I'm like, no, she's a demon. <laughs> y'all don't know her. I'm reformed. Okay. I'm reformed. Uh, do men... <laughs> all right, we're going we gonna to wrap this up soon because we are really shooting the shit. But do men enable... Um, the toxic behavior of black women. See, okay, like I said earlier, I think the worst cases of that are when the nigga is a simp. Because, you know, mm-hmm. if I recognize that I'm in the driver's seat, I'm running over you. I think we got to... Whatever, um, I'm doing whatever I want. I think we have to define what those toxic behaviors are because to me, as say... Gaslighting. Oh, that used to be my favorite. Oh, I hate when people say gaslighting. That's still a thing and I hate it when people do it. Yeah. That's the quickest way to get cursed out by me. <laughs> but no I'm saying just the energy in general like most women are and we talked about this with Big Joe most women now are like the head of their household and that's a different type of energy than I'm not accepting that Mm -hmm. yeah so that's kind of can that be considered toxic behavior especially like you end up lonely you want a man or you have a man but you're running over him because you're the breadwinner which I respect I feel like whoever you know whoever makes the gold makes the rules that's the reason why that's a cliche saying Mm -hmm. but um I think most of the time, like when people be like, "Well, what if your girl had more than you?" I was like, "She should be with a different dude." Mm. Yeah. Like she would want to be with I a different agree. dude. Yeah. She wouldn't want to be. Class. Yeah, she wouldn't want to be with a dude that she has to take care of or meet in the middle, fifty-fifty. Right. That dynamic doesn't work. So is that toxic? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I did it on the lower scale, so yeah, I know what it feels like. Taking care of a dude is sick work. work. <laughs> like, this is nasty. Yeah, what, 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 you, what do you mean you need $38 so I can pay your phone bill? Oh, my God. What? the fuck do you mean? <laughs> no, no, no. That means two things. That means, one, he has prepaid service. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, and he don't even have a, t- he don't even have a $55 a month Wait, plan. no, I think he might have asked his mom for the other. Oh, my oh that's God. worse. God, I know. Oh, I'm ashamed. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Where I've been. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, this is where I'd be frustrated. Oh, I'm ashamed. How did you end up with a dude like that? It was a dick. <laughs> No ma'am. I'm sorry. No ma'am. I'm sorry. Can I get thirty eight? Yo, Survival. can I get thirty eight dollars for my <laughs> phone bill? Survival. Because moms ain't covered a whole. Bill. Oh, oh my, my god. That's Jesus. some wild stuff. And he lived with you at my mom's. Babe, can I get some gas money for the car? You mean my car, not the car. <laughs> my car. Oh, Don't yeah. start calling it the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro. When they start calling it the car. So, so from what you just did, <laughs> I think that behavior is toxic on both spectrums. It is. Mm. You're supporting your neighborhood. Yeah, 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 I was right. enabling it. You was letting that shit happen. It was the dick. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. Past self. We've come so far. But that's what I be saying. Like, y'all do enable bumming. Y'all be like, these niggas be bumming. I'm like, bro, you're fucking with them. Well, sometimes you get caught in the trap of like, you just need someone to believe in him. Or fucking, he's got so much potential. No, like, that's it's a trap. That potential shit. It's a trap. You should no, be able I'm about to, to say, it. I've been it stuck be in the potential itself. trap before. I yeah. Don't even like the man. Because it's just like, you you talk good game. Mm-hmm. And when you realize oh, that I'm yeah. on your ass about the stuff you talking about, the uh-huh. dreams and visions that you have for yourself, mm-hmm. and you realize I'm right there, like, so what have you done towards this? Right. You make one small step. Guys, I was Once, putting in like, his oh, job I bought this one thing, and it's just like, okay, I was okay, you trying it <laughs> on his behalf because he was playing two K. See, I'm not doing that. I just don't. I'm not doing how that. You end up with that. Guy. I am not with doing that. Dick, I swear. And okay, and I will give him some merit. In the beginning, he was very, 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 very nice to me, which is what I needed at the time because I had just left someone who was very, 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 very toxic and abusive. Don't you think you should have just took that time to be alone? <laughs> Instead of no, looking for the void of what somebody else just fine. did? 
He was fine and he was nice to me, and I just left a nigga who punched me in the face. Listen, so it listen, looked like a good deal. Listen, what did I say deal. earlier, bro? That's the fine niggas get over. They don't have to know nothing. They don't have to be about nothing. He could be like, I'm a model, but he's struggling. He don't have to have a car because he's fine. The but that, medium, that's the medium ugly nigga. I gotta get it from the mud, my nigga. But that work that works both ways too, though. Man, how you bitches don't be looking yeah. good as fuck. Don't got a fucking yeah. But see, bro. look, you if, know you, what I'm if you're a young lady, real talk, I'm gonna keep you. That shit go a long way. With if you're you a real, if you're a young lady, you don't got no kids. You you really can like put all your chips in the middle of the table on your right. looks. Right. Double down on that. Right. If you're fine. So hard. If you're fine. If, if you're not fine, like I mean, like. You can separate yourself from like the other fine girls. Yeah. You might could go to a city that's lit. I tell Caitlin all the time, I was like, damn, if you didn't go to the military and you just double down on going to Miami and just being in the gym, you might be living a whole different life. Right. You might be staying at the Porsche building. The design tower, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You might be staying at the design tower. Because that's what a lot of them girls do. Yeah. They be like, all right, I'm cute. I don't have no kids yet. I could go to the city where the money's at. And invest all my right. energy mm-hmm. into my looks. And because you extra fine, you don't even gotta do that much work. You, don't you just need... gotta be there and, and be Don't cute. stress yeah. this nigga out. <laughs> and you can get paid to just be fine. Like one of my friends moved into a model house in Miami and was paid to just basically be with girls and like with a guy. Yeah. Like it was nothing beyond that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, what? <laughs> but see, and this is part of the toxicity talk too. I think young, and I'm not speaking for black women, I'm just saying my experience. <laughs> Young black women have been told, like, get it on your own. You don't need no nigga. All this is man talk. You shouldn't, like, I wouldn't. I had to talk with my mom about that because she told me shit like that when I was growing up. She's like, I just didn't want you to have to need anybody. I wanted you to be able to do everything by yourself. I'm like, okay, but also you didn't teach me things I needed to know, per se. Like, I got out the house and I didn't know what a bill was or... I knew what a bill was, but I didn't know how to pay it or where the checks came from. Look look at the privilege you grew up with. But I'm saying, (laughs) but I'm saying I had to talk with her. And she was like, I'm like, okay, well, how can you say you wanted me to be able to do everything myself, myself but you didn't give me, like, the real-life tools? You probably cook, actively, clean, take care of babies. Yeah, and you're not actively doing that yourself. You're not a... Right. You know. Right. Right. You made me lose my train of thought. No, but I'm saying that's the perpetuating behavior, right? So yeah. these these young ladies, they're, they're taught to... And then I ask you for help, you <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> you're my... You're, what are you, you're my mom. You're supposed to teach me something. Mm. Please. Please. This ain't that kind of couch, but I feel what you're saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just, I mean, it's the truth. So these young, you know, they spend a lot of time trying to be dudes, which I hate saying, but you're, real, you're trying to get a career. Going to college. You're doing all. Getting the, your master's and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not taking the time to be like an active dater. You're not, mm-hmm. you're not, you're. You have to set your intentions, right? If I'm a young dude and I'm talking about getting money, all my all my work and effort got to go towards like what I need to do to get money. So if you're a young woman and you're all my energy is about getting going to school, getting money, getting a career, mm-hmm. how am I gonna find a man? You doing what the niggas is doing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we competing a job with you, and you black woman, and I'm a black man. He gets two for one for you, right? Damn, I know. I'm preaching today because Willie's not here. <laughs> But no, seriously. So then, like, even now with Caitlyn, right? When I first started dating Caitlyn, she was, that energy was different. Mm-hmm. I'm an, I need to be able to take care of myself. I'm blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she, like, I'm a nigga. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, bro, you don't want that. You want to be able to sit at home. You want a net, a and safety chill. net. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a friend. We were just talking about this the other day. His girl, she works for a bank. She doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. She hates it. He make good money. He's like, yo, I make 100000 more than what you make. You can take a break. You can figure out what you really want to do. That's a blessing. It She's is. like, I don't want to be a bird. You married to this nigga. Yeah. How are you possibly a bird? Yeah. My job is to help put you in that position. Right. Say it again. So the the overall like line between when that behavior shifts, because if you're willing, like for me, I am one of those people where it's just like, I got to depend on me right now. Yeah. Y'all are and still relatively like, young. Like when I'm dating somebody, it's just like, I'm willing to see how you can assist me, but I do not depend on it. Yeah, you can. But it's just like, so when does that shift? Does that shift after marriage? Like, if he is it, in a position to do that and provide that type of it's lifestyle. It's hard to say because you got a kid too, right? Mm-hmm. It's hard. It's like a different scenario for you guys because now you're bringing an extra person to the to the situation. And you would want a man that would want to take care of y'all the same, like, even if it's, yeah. your, you know what I'm saying? My child is an extension of me. Yeah, exactly. So that is a little different. I don't know. I would say you should still have mm-hmm. it proven before you get married. Like, if y'all get to the stage where now we live together, 
right? You accept my child. We're all together. We're our own little unit. Mm -hmm. Now let let's step up and you know what I'm saying you paying the bills. What you what you want to do? But you gotta make sure that's the 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 energy you come in with from the beginning because most women are like I can do it by myself. Y'all want some fifty fifty shit? That's what you are gonna get. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never offer 50-50 if you're a girl. If you're but a see, woman, but that it's don't hard. Be like, I'll pay half the bill. Don't do that. Yeah, but that's the energy Just most see women what come he's out with, though. Present to you. Yeah. You know what that's I'm saying? That's true. If he say, oh, I'll take care of the bills. He, he might not have said that if you said, oh, we can go half. He'd be like, all right, we can go half. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't. I. What did Joe say? I like being in a little bit of control, and mm -hmm. it, it don't come with half. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a business. Yeah. So I got to, you know what I'm saying, if you're, I hold... You're the captain of the ship. Yeah, but most people, you know, I get it. I was talking to somebody else, too, and they were just like, <coughs> you know, oh, you get married, you get two incomes. I'm like, bro, don't be worried about two incomes. I got to make sure, like, if you're not doing nothing, I could still, we still live in the same. Like, mm -hmm. that's the energy I'm on. Mm -hmm. So you got to, you know, be... Some guys do want to go 50-50. That might be the guy for the woman that she might have a hundred, he might have a hundred, and they want to go 50-50. That might work for them. I'm not saying what works for, but I think most women do want a guy that can take care of them. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, and if okay, so, and if and you, you should, are, if you both make big money, then I'm assuming if you're going 50 50, you're also, I would think you'd be building some sort of an empire together. You know what I'm saying? In my brain, that would be my idea. I if still, we both if y'all make bag, the same, I still don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to go 50 50. I'm just like spend your money on you. Well, no, say, right. no, save your money. Do yeah. like sew that into yourself. But I, I wouldn't exactly, want exactly. But I'm saying if you're together like that, let's sew it into us. Like yeah, I yeah. got this extra money. Yeah, you, you still hold do it us down. Stuff? We can we can build something. We can put something together for our future and our kids. I still wouldn't pay fifty yeah. fifty on the bills. I I'm paying the bills. Saying. Yeah, but that's I mean same shit with uh, Kaylin. I want to get out of the military. If that's what you want to do, do it. Now she out. I wanna Three I wanna minutes. sell houses. Oh, we gotta clap it up. Yeah. Show you the show the first yeah. 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 Love that. But I don't know if you get to take that step if we're not in a relationship in the space we're in. Right. So now you get to take your money. I can go to real estate school. I can pay my dues. I can, you know, everything. I mean, I pay for pretty much everything. I don't pay for her car because I bought her car and she traded in. So my trading value is my contr contribution to that. That makes sense. You know, and that car was paid for, so. Mm -hmm. Let me drop it. I need a big money talk button when I sprinkle it in there like salt, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do y'all got anything else y'all want to talk about before we get out of here? Super Bowl Sunday, who y'all got? Y'all don't know. Rams, nigga. What's happening? Rams and the, uh, the, the Bengals, the young boys. Yeah. The I young guys. I watch it at the lounge later. At the lounge? Yeah. The, I feel like the Rams really messed up my bracket. You had a because bracket? I had the yeah, bucks, you like. Oh, you had Tom, <laughs> and they just fucked that all up. I so. who'd you have? You had uh, the Bengals coming out the AFC. Oh uh, yeah, I still had them. Oh for real? That's a that's a tough pick. Yeah, but I don't think anybody had them. I'm stressed. It's okay. I lost money at work, you guys. <laughs> Those brackets be. Fun. But we got squares now. So. <coughs> What's squares? Um, okay, so you have like a chart uh -huh. and it has literally a grid of squares. Everybody writes an initial. You draw 10 random numbers. So on one side is the Bengals, the other side is the Rams. Uh -huh. And then you draw 10 random numbers at the top for each team, mm -hmm. one through nine. And then whatever the quarter ends with, so like if the score is like 13 to 17, mm -hmm. if you're in a square where it's three and seven, because like I said, it's random numbers, if yeah. they collide, you make a hundred dollars. Oh, that's dope. Fuck is that? Okay. That's some neutral. I ain't never. I ain't never heard of squares either. Yeah, so <laughs> we we did squares at my job, so I'm just like, hmm. What have one? <laughs> and you can buy as many squares as you want. We only did five a square, so. I might save I that one. I'm speaking a language I don't speak. Sport. <laughs> right. I I don't know. We're gonna piggyback off that last that last joint, and this is gonna be the last thing we talk about. Mm -hmm. So, are the women that are getting to the back are they finding? Happiness and fulfillment without a husband, without a man? I'd say a version of it, but women do need companionship. Humans yeah. need companionship. I think more dudes, like if I was single, I think I would get along fine being single forever. Yeah, but men are different. Like, I'm sure you'd be content to be alone or whatever and fuck whoever you want on Monday and Wednesday and Sunday and go about your merry life. Women aren't like that yeah. when we get older. Like when you're young and you're a whole season, 
you you know you Monday nigga, Wednesday nigga, Friday nigga. It's fine. That's cool for you at the moment. He was taking days apart. <laughs> We're not going to talk about me. You're a bird. <clears throat> but when you get older, you're like, I can't just have a revolving door of dicks my whole life. That's not fulfilling. I need companionship. I need mm. someone to, to actually know what's going on in my life and care about it. I need to be able to come home and tell the same story to the same person. You know what I'm mm. saying? I don't, but I feel you. I mean, you'll figure it out. Caitlin's going to be telling you whatever's going on in your life for the next however long. No, no, no. I, I get what you're saying from the woman perspective. I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe I just don't think like that. You're a man. You, you're asking a question about women. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. So, yeah, yeah I, did. I don't know. Andy, what do you think? I feel like if I'm getting to the bag successfully mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. myself, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you better be bringing a bag, too. If you are bringing a bag, I enjoy your company. <laughs> Because then it's a team effort. We got what we need. And as long as, like I said before, if you can speak my love languages and I can respectfully speak yours as well, because it's never one-sided for me. Mm -hmm. But it's just like if I can speak yours as well, then yes, companionship and everything. Like, But I also see a lot of women in the media who don't necessarily care for having another guy beside them. Mm -hmm. But they still date. Yeah, they date. So it's just like... What's the goal? Like, because I feel like right. if I'm dating, the goal is marriage. Like, right. that's it. But it's just like I see a lot of, like, moguls. Like, even with Kim, you're fresh out of a relationship, but you're dating. What's the goal with him? Do you do you plan right. to get to married again, Kanye even though you were just to, married? Like, that's what I'm Kanye saying. Though, like, right. like, but we all know Kim's sitting on a fat bag. But it's yeah, just yeah. like, are you? is he there just because you feel like you need companionship? Yeah. Or like, but is see, he there oh, just Kim to piss likes off to your ex? Like, she wants to be a wife. She's been married. <laughs> yeah, before. she's been married a lot. But does she do that just because it like looks cleaner than just dating all these people? I don't think they would care about that as long as they've been in the public eye. They've been living their whole lives. Yeah, but she kind of marries a lot of people, like you said. So it's not the same as like, oh, she's dating this nigga. She dating that nigga. Because when other women do it in the industry, they would get called hoes and shit. I don't think no, people. Right, but I mean, she I guess started technically out the people, gate getting called a hoe. She got famous off of that tape. So that Dude. doesn't, I don't think that even crosses her mind for real. I don't point. like saying that because a lot of sex tapes are out and none of them just yeah. get famous. Yeah, right. But I'm saying her dad was also an Olympian. Yes, I'm aware. Her dad, what I'm step, saying. Well, her real dad her, was her a, a blow up in the start of the lawyer. show. And yeah, just, that's that true. Stuff. Yeah. Which she's now she's, trying to be. Oh, I mean. She's trying. She took the baby ball. I think when you're Kim, <laughs> and like you said, you sit on that bag, I think companionship is also part of like surviving true right and that for her her survival is not placed on if i'm married or not so i can date whoever because i'm i got a billy too so when a, like you said if you're a woman and you're super up you almost feel like i can date too i think women crave that companionship more than men do because mm-hmm. we can really like i can fly you in we can chill you could be gone and then i can get back to work mm-hmm. i can get back to business whereas with women it's more like like you want something like you said somebody i could tell the same shit to every day you know what I'm saying? i guess yeah. Or like the best, you know, there's a continuation of a story. You can't have a continuation of a That's story true. if you're dating four niggas. We're you don't know what friend. happened on the last episode. If Six. you're dating how many? Four. And how many fingers you had up? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No. I hate her. I wasn't going to say nothing. But I, didn't know. <laughs> I know. Four niggas. Slide. I can't yeah. let it go. <laughs> the viewers will say it in the comments. <laughs> they don't comment. Fuck yeah. But you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I think after a while when you get old, it's like a mental health thing. Like, okay. companionship is part of a, a mental health thing. I agree. Like, loneliness is a real thing. And you can loneliness be surrounded is. with yeah, people, and you can have a revolving door of dicks, but that's not going to yeah. That's not gonna do it. That's when the quality of your company is better. I'm right. But I feel like I have, like... quality shit. company, you want to keep it. Yeah. So you're probably going to want to marry that nigga and keep him. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's oh, fair. Goodness, I'm definitely with the continuation of a story, though. Yeah. Like, I don't have to fill Let you in. Let me tell you, Belle. Oh, what happened? You, you <laughs> know what I'm Yeah. Not, okay, so here's... Okay, this is what Wouldn't you just before. call her, though, and tell her the story, and then you can continue with her? She's not going nowhere? It's not I the same. I want to pillow talk it. It's just not the same. Oh, pillow talk It's talking. not. I pillow are you a pillow talk talker? Fuck no. Fuck no. I mean, but that... And I can only offer a female perspective. Mm-hmm. We know how we going to react to some stuff, mm-hmm. but it's just like that male perspective. Sometimes and, we don't care about them stories y'all be telling them. I mean, you like, what? 
that your job? Right. She that's did what? Right. Oh, right. for real? Don't we give don't a care. Fuck about it. Yeah. Exactly, but that's enough for us. <laughs> so we just gotta it. act like we care about it. Exactly. Ex, yeah, ex one follow up question, and we good. That's yeah. so weird. Like, she, like so, what did you do? That. Like, that's it. That's all I need. So weird. Oh, don't even act like because sometimes niggas be getting into it. Sometimes they be ready with the tea. What happened at work, man? Hello? Never do no shit like that. <laughs> what happened? At work? That's crazy. <laughs> They it's like, yo, it. she she give you shit today. Like, right, right. <laughs> and we don't even got to discuss who the she is because we know who she exactly. is. Like, <laughs> exactly. You want to be able to tell the same person the same shit. Mm. That's facts. Valuable. No, that's facts. We love that. Y'all might have just taught me something. There you go. You gonna figure it out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> just another point. Oh, we, we, we recorded longer than we uh, I thought we would. Uh, I don't talk about it. Huh? I said hot dog. Well, no, it's, to be real, this shit easy. Mm-hmm. A lot of the other podcasts I listen to are two hour plus long. Mm-hmm. And we might get back to that, but episode 93, Shoot the Shit Pod, Indy, Liddy, B Hood. I appreciate y'all for listening. Leave a comment. What I'm about to start doing, though, I'm going to bring this pod to y'all a day sooner. So I think I'm going to edit on Mondays. Audio will be out Tuesday. Video will be out Wednesday. Because mm-hmm. it'll all be done on Monday anyway. All right? Sure. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. Ding. I, 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 I,